Time to actually make that presentation. We have two sets of tips for you. The first is all about effective content in that presentation. The other set has to do with speaking tips for making the actual presentation. We will walk through the tips. First, presentation content. Plan. Plan out your presentation. You can use a storyboard or outline view to help you plan out and rearrange it until it looks just right. Starting with one slide, diving deep, and then going to the next one is probably not the best way to go. Fonts. Use a large and consistent font. No more than two, and choose nice readable fonts, not italic or cursive fonts. Cueing. The bullets on a slide are really there to cue the audience to what the speaker is speaking about or provide additional information. This should not be paragraphs. Six bullets is reasonable. Contrast. Use backgrounds that contrast with your text. If printing, don't create with dark backgrounds. Highlighting. To highlight something, change the normal pattern. Change the color, background, size, or font. Spell check. What more can I say? Multimedia. Use special effects and multimedia carefully. They can be powerful or a nice reward for an audience. They can make a statement, but they can kill a presentation. Kiss. Keep it simple. A good presentation is not about slides. I hope all those make sense to you. They're all pretty obvious, but when you start playing with all the fun things in PowerPoint, it is pretty easy to let features take over. Let's pull up a summary. Plan your presentation. Use large, consistent, readable fonts. Cue your audience with content. Contrast your text and backgrounds. Highlight important items and changes in color and size. Multimedia is to be used in limited quantities. And keep it simple. It's time for the show. You're on. It's your big chance to impress everyone. What, what's that? Your, your palms are sweaty already? This is just the tutorial. Okay, deep breath, relax. <laughs> to keep those nerves steady, here are some things to do to get ready for your big day. Dry run. Did you test your presentation on anyone yet? It's probably a good idea. Pick someone who's likely to give you positive, constructive feedback, but not someone who thinks everything you do is great, like your mom. Collateral. If you're handing out anything, make sure you have it ready in advance. Not 10 minutes in advance. This could be the presentation. But if it is, it should be for notes or with notes. Smile. Did you ever see a commercial with unhappy, frowning people trying to sell you something? <laughs> How do you like it if I talk like this? Does this inspire you to listen? You need to be interested and energetic to captivate your audience. Speak to the audience. Don't mumble. Speak loud and clear. Enunciate. Look at your audience when you're talking. Make eye contact. That means don't read your slides. Speaking to the audience can also include engaging them with questions. Move. If you're comfortable, move around especially if you aren't tied down to a wired mic. This will allow you to make more eye contact and allow people to shift a little, get a different view of you, and be more animated. Pace. It's not a race. Speaking too fast and rushing through your slides will not help your presentation. If you think it's going to be too tight, take something out. Okay, you should be good to go for the show. Let's review one more time. Make sure you have at least one dry run. Get your collateral ready in advance so you aren't worried about it. Smile. It means everything to an audience. Speak to the audience. They're here to hear you. And try not to be a statue. 
Move around a bit. Don't race. Watch your pace. That's it. For some people, presentations are easy. That's only because most of those people are already worked really hard to make it look easy. Do your work, practice, and stick to these simple rules, and you'll do great.